pancreas, H&E staining. The pancreas is a lobular, mainly exocrine organ, although it also contains endocrine components consisting of clusters of cells called pancreatic islets, the islets of Langerhans. The exocrine lobule is made up of vesicles with a small amount of connective tissue and blood vessels between them. Pancreatic acinar cells have a pyramidal shape and show two color stainability. This results from the polarization of the cell, which contains a nucleus surrounded by abundant rough endoplasmic reticulum responsible for the basophilic nature of the cytoplasm in this region near its base. The apical part of the cell, facing the lumen of the vesicle, contains eosinophilic zymogen granules and proenzymes. Pancreatic secretions are transported through a ductal system. Its initial part consists of centroacinar cells, which are an intravesical section of the intercalated duct. The microscopic specimens stained with hematoxylin and eosin show the nuclei of these cells, as well as the nuclei of the low simple cuboidal epithelium, which lines the extravesicular part of the intercalated duct. When leaving individual vesicles, the intercalated ducts join into interlobular ducts lined with simple columnar epithelium. They can be observed in the vicinity of connective tissue that forms partitions between lobules. These ducts are often accompanied by blood vessels, veins and arteries. The islets of Langerhans are structures of varying shapes and sizes, unevenly distributed among the exocrine elements. They contain smaller cells than those present in the exocrine part and are separated from it by a delicate capsule. A network of capillaries is visible within the islets. The presented specimen stains with hematoxylin eosin does not allow for the visualization of individual types of island cells. We can identify them by immunocytochemistry.